Right. Um, can you tell me what is your name and can you spell it out? In my what? What is your name and can you spell it out? Oh, oh my god, I feel like I'm in prison. Yeah, uh, Robert Morgan and it's R-O-B-E-R-T M-O-R-G-A-N. Can you tell me a little bit about your uh, Should road? I be looking at the camera or anything? Okay, great. Um, we'll tell me a little bit trip. about um, your road trip experiences. Yeah, so um, I think I've been going on road trips from a young age. And I think my first road trip experience, um, my family, uh, which was really my mother's side of my family, we used to go on road trips to Florida. And so uh, my aunt had sort of a larger van. Um, and she would, I mean, this is like totally illegal, but she would take out the back two rows of the van and just put in a mattress. Uh, and me and my sister and my two cousins would all sort of squeeze in the back, and then my mom and aunt would alternate driving. Uh, and I think these are like the first road trips we wouldn't go on. And we'd go and visit my other aunt, Kathy, in Florida. And on the way, we'd like stop in Georgia and other places, I'm sure. I don't know, I was very young. Um, and I don't really remember a lot about these road trips, to be honest. I think the first time we went on one was two. Uh, and I was, so I was super young. But I, I just hear about them sort of from family stories. Uh, and I think the first one, at least, uh, is pretty memorable because I was very young. I was two, which it shouldn't have been a problem at this point, but I was not potty trained at all. <laughs> like, I just, you know, uh, had some issues with the potty. So uh, I, I guess we're, we're about a, you know, it's about a 22 hour drive down to Florida, uh, if it's nonstop from Michigan. So we're on our way down I-75 and I guess it's like two hours into the trip. We're probably in like Ohio or something. And I guess, uh, you know, of course we're all in the mattress on the back seat. I guess I just started peeing everywhere. Um, so like, there was two-year-old Robert, and then there were my, my two cousins and my sister. And I had created like this sort of like, you know, line in the mattress, like this border. This was where Robertville started. And it was just urine soaked. This whole corner of the mattress was just like my pee. But I was too young to like care, so I was just like still having a great time. And I was just like covered in urine. Uh, but my cousins, like, and slowly it grew larger. It like slowly seeped like, you know, closer and closer in the mattress. So my three cousins spent the next, like, 19 hours of that car ride just shoved into a corner, trying to stay away from the ever-growing, like, you know, line of urine that was sort of dripping down the mattress. Uh, and I loved my life, mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure. I just, like, danced and did my little Robert songs uh, the whole way down. So I think road trips have gone really great in my life so far, uh, you know, to my experience. Uh, I don't know if I've learned a lot. Have you Probably. taken any recently? That's a good question. Um, I don't know. Like, I went to Toronto a couple weeks ago. I don't really think of that as a road trip, though. But I did drive there. And it's like four or five hours out. So, yeah, Toronto's pretty fun. Do you, have, do you have any advice you would want to give to students thinking about doing a road trip? Going on a road trip. I will say, I think this is like, this is a great age for road trips. Just because, I mean, maybe I was less aware of this when I was a kid, and maybe this has always been the case. But, uh, especially when we went up to Toronto, I think it's easier than ever to get accommodations, especially short-term and sudden accommodations, uh, with like Airbnb and hostels. Like, it's easy to find somewhere cheap to stay uh, for very little money. Uh, there were a couple hostels and Airbnbs I've stayed into in Toronto that have basically been like 20 bucks a night, uh, like free breakfast in the morning. So it's like, it's really affordable to travel uh, on a road trip. And like, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I, I just think traveling in general is a really good idea. Uh, it's really easy to, hear, uh, easy to have sort of an insular opinion on where you are and like what life is like if you just stay in the same place. I also just really like Toronto. It's a cool city. But don't, I mean, like, go now. 
don't go in like a month. Literally go like today. Or go tomorrow. You literally have the day off school tomorrow. Go to Toronto. Do you have a license? Do you have a passport? Yeah. Yeah, yeah go. Uh, because when it gets cold, it will be not so fun. But right now, it's like great. Will you come with us? No. <laughs>